Evening soon, about 10,000 people in Indiana will be cut off from their unemployment benefits. That's because the federal government says they no longer qualify. News Channel 15's Megan Royce has been digging deeper into this and joins us now. Megan, why don't they qualify anymore? Well, Mark and Heather, basically these folks have entered their last tier of unemployment benefits. And when that happens, the federal government steps in and looks at some factors and bases its decision off of that. Without having a job, we're going to lose everything. Tracy Nash lives in Fort Wayne and is one of the 10,000 Hoosiers who stands to lose unemployment benefits. In two weeks, she'll get her last check. I could end up losing my house and they make my kids to be homeless. Nash says for the last 79 weeks while receiving unemployment benefits, she has applied for countless jobs in Allen County. Arby's, I've applied at the Salvation Army. Uh, we've done Lutheran Hospital. She says she has been called in for several interviews but hasn't been offered a job yet. Nash is a college graduate. With her degree, she could work in a hospital or a doctor's office to help with insurance and HIPAA questions. The stress of not finding a job and soon losing her benefits have Nash and her family stressed out. It's got my kids worrying, you know, are we going to, what's going to happen if we lose our house? Where are we going to go live? You know, it's adding stress to me. I get frustrated. I can't sleep at night, you know, worrying about, am, am I going to get a phone call? The reason why Nash and thousands of others won't get any more benefits is because Indiana doesn't have a high enough unemployment rate. Right now, Indiana's rate sits at 8.7%, and in order to qualify for the last 20 weeks of benefits, the state's unemployment rate needs to average at least 9% over three months. So we don't have enough unemployed people for the extension. The federal government pays for extended benefits those last 20 weeks when the state's three-month average unemployment rate is 110% higher than it was three years ago. Kroger did give me some advice and tips for people who are unemployed right now. She says you should go to your local Work One Center and ask for help. They have a career counselor there who you can talk with and um, they can help you make contact with employers, resume and interview help, and additional training. For now, reporting live from News Control tonight, Megan Royst, News Channel 15.